Hi Scorpio, welcome to May. This is Teresa from tarotbyt.com and I'm getting ready to do your May Taroscope, your May Love Taroscope. And before I do that, I want to ring in some good energy and create some sacred space around this reading. And I want to say thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. Um, I value your support and I, I really appreciate the comments. And um, I do read all of them, even though sometimes I, I don't have time. I don't always get a chance to respond, but I am trying. But I eventually I do respond to all of them. It just takes time sometimes. But I do value your, your taking the time out to comment, and it's good to hear feedback on the readings, and I'm glad that these readings are helping people. So let's see what's going on for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know about their love life for the month of May? What does Scorpio need to know about love and anything else important for the month of May? May only the highest forces be present at this reading to ensure that the truth be told. The Ten of Swords. The Nine of Wands. The Two of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Strength card, the Six of Cups, the Devil, the Six of Wands. Okay, interesting. Let's see. So the Ten of Swords, you start the month out. <clears throat> Excuse me a minute with the Ten of Swords. So um, the Ten of Swords is the end of a situation. You are experiencing the ending of a cycle in May. So something may have recently ended. It could have been a relationship or a career opportunity or something. Um, and the Nine of Wands crossing it, you feel like you've been stabbed in the back, that you've been struggling with something and you've gotten to the point where you say, you know what, I can't give this any more energy. I've been struggling with this for a long time because you have the Nine of Wands. And it could be a relationship that you finally decide, um, I need to move on. It's either a relationship or a career situation. Whatever the situation is, it's coming to an end. So if it's a career situation, it could be that um, you just decide, I, I just can't do this anymore. If it's a relationship, it's telling you, you know, you just can't put, the Ten of Swords means the end of a cycle of worry. And, you know, it's like when things reach a culmination, and actually you're having the full moon in Scorpio will be on May 10th. So that usually brings things to a head. It brings things to culmination, full moons. So certain truths have been revealed. So if there was something that was hidden from you, that truth will come out. And it could be that um, with the Nine of Wands, it could be a relationship that you thought was over, may come back for one last round. And I feel that um, even though you had a strong connection with this person, you may have to come to some kind of conclusion, whether you either decide to, I'm not going to give this any more energy. I, you're going to come to a situation where you're going to give it one last shot, and if it, it, if it works, fine, and if it doesn't, you're done. I think that's um, the energy that you're dealing with. Um, and this could be a relationship, but it could also be some kind of career situation as well, because I see like um, career opportunities coming up. So with the Nine of Wands, you may have felt like you've always had to defend yourself in the past. Like You're, you're constantly defending yourself. You ha you're constantly under attack. Um, well, this situation is ending. So that point, you know, it's like you're having to prove yourself all the time. I think that's coming to an end, too. You're not going to have to do that as much. So whatever negative situation you are in, um, 
the good news is it as the worst is over it can't get any worse it, it can only go better so whatever you've been struggling with for a long time it's over your struggles are over and um, you had like the last round of struggle and now you're going to be moving towards something much better because I'm seeing two different energies here there's in a love situation you could have an, a, a return of someone from the past um, that you felt was like a soulmate connection and maybe you kind of gotten estranged from each other um, there's a lot of pride in this relationship where each person n nobody wants to make the first move um, so you're waiting for this person to make the move they're waiting for you to make the move um, so they may come back for another round and you thought it was over you thought like I haven't heard from this person we're done you know you've kind of moved on well, they're coming back for another round in May. Um, but you're going to see the truth by the full moon. Things are going to come to a head by the full moon, May, May 10th. And depending on how that goes, you might decide that you're done for good after this. Um, because I feel like you're moving on to something else. I think, I think you've been kind of playing a, doing a dance with this person for a long time. And even though there's a strong physical connection and there's a lot of chemistry, there's also been a lot of problems because one of you may have had some kind of psychological issues to deal with, like um, anger issues or being overreactive or overly emotional. Um, and one of you might have been going through some financial difficulties or going through a depression, feeling cut off and feeling... Um, I think the person feels that they don't, they're not in your league, that they don't have anything to offer. They're having some kind of financial problems and they've been going through a depression. And so you might be there for them. You might want to help them because you feel compassion for this person because you have a history with this person. Um, but I think at some point you may decide that you don't want to have a relationship with this person that you don't want to go through you don't want to open up the can of worms and start over you want to kind of you feel you want to just finish the relationship say you know I'm going to help you through this but I think but I need to move on because I see in the eight of pentacles here um, career opportunities coming up you're going to be focused on career in May and you may not have the time to deal with this person and their issues and um, you're going to be kind of, your career path is changing, uh, where you're going to be learning new skills and you're, going to, you're kind of working toward a new direction with your career. Not necessarily a change in career, but maybe just um, taking it to a different level or taking a different path with it. And so you're going to have to be, and it's going to lead to a new um a much better situation. So if, if there's a job situation that ended, you're moving on to something better because you have the six. You have two sixes in the future and that's harmony. Six of Cups is moving to something where there's a lot more harmony than in the past. And the Six of Wands at the end is a victory card. You're going to be seen as um, the rock star. You're going to be recognized for the work that you do. You're going to finally be recognized as someone who is really um, an expert at what they do. And they're going to reward you. You might even be traveling. You might be doing more traveling at work where you're representing the company and you're meeting different people. Um, I just feel like your job is going to change in a way that you're going to be more mobile. You're going to be maybe going to more meetings rep, you know, be as a representative, meeting up with more people. Um, you're going to have more visibility in the job. Um, you are attracted to this person. So there's two things going on in May. There's career success in May. You know, you're taking a new path with your career. You're moving into a new division or a new area where you're going to feel that um, you're working bit much better with people. Um, you won't feel like you're under attack as much. You won't feel like... like Whatever your situation was in the past, in your job, you felt like um, that people were just out to get you, or you were stabbed in the back, you were down for the count, 
And then all of a sudden, um, that just ended. And now you're moving into a new direction. That's going to lead to much more success. At the same time that this career stuff is happening, there's a relationship um, from the past that comes back. Because the Six of Cups can also mean, you know, reconnecting with someone from the past. And you have strong feelings for this person. I mean, there's a... The devil card is this this person is a um they've got some kind of hold on you so every time they show up you're like you know it's a, it's just it's almost like an addiction like it's hard to break away they have they're very compelling it's a compelling attraction where you feel it's almost hard not to get involved um and you really you've been on the fence with this person for quite a while with the two of swords like, you don't know what to do with them. Like, I care about them. I really like them. But we always have these issues. And I don't know if I should stay or if I should give them one more chance. Or if I should just walk away for good. And they have some issues too. They have some psychological problems. And um, it's possible that through counseling, you might be able to solve some of these problems. Um, but... I don't know, I think you're going to come, whatever it is, you're going to decide, you, things are going to come to a head by the full moon, um, because it's going to be your full moon in Scorpio, so you're going to know what to do by then, and then, um, so it's going to be, the full moon is like an ending, a culmination, or a, you know, a final decision, you're going to make a final decision by then, whether you want to pursue this person, or just leave them behind. And things are going to also be happening in your career because not only do you have the full moon in Scorpio, which is in your first house, um, you're also going to have a new moon in Gemini, which is in the eighth house. So that could work a different. That can work uh, in two ways. Also, the eighth house is the house of intimacy. It's also the house of other people's resources, money, financial assistance. So you could have a um, new beginning that brings you more financial security, more financial support, which is in career. But it can also be a new beginning where you um, confront your own personal demons and whatever's been holding you back from true intimacy. So especially with this card here, which sometimes relates to counseling, and it can relate to the wildness within us, you know, we all have a dark side. Everybody has a dark side that we struggle with. The part of you that wants to hurt someone or wants to get revenge. Someone angers you, you want to, you know, you want to strike back. You have to work on that in May. Um, so you also have to work on, it's like when you have a relationship with someone, it's not always the other person. You know, everybody wants to blame the other person. Well, he's this way or she's that way and that's why we can't get along. You have to look at yourself too. And you're going to be doing that in May. If you can do that, you have a chance for a new beginning with the new moon in Gemini to have a new sense of intimacy. You have a new, you have a chance to really connect with someone on an intimate level because the eighth house is the house of sex and transformation. Sex, death, transformation, other people's resources. Um, it really means... It's, it's, a, it's a house of intimacy, more than, like, the seventh house is the house of partnership. The eighth house is, like, because, like, you can marry someone, but until you have sex, you're not really intimate. You're not really bonding that with that relationship. So the sexual act or the, the intimacy that comes when two people really open up and reveal themselves to each other, that's what brings people closer. So um, if you can get to that point where you can open up and be honest with each other and not and admit your flaws admit both sides you know where both people can just drop their guard and really communicate you have the potential to have a new beginning where you can be close draw, draw closer um, with this person or um, you know learn things about yourself even like what's blocking me from intimacy what is it that I'm doing that's preventing this from happening so um, it's a good time for counseling if you're thinking about talking to someone um, over some issues you've been having with, with a relationship or even your personal life, 
um, the end of the month with this new moon in Gemini would be a good time to go to a counselor and help you to you know find out about yourself and find out what your blocks are and work on them so that you can release them and release what's preventing you from getting into a a good relationship or an intimate relationship so you could be leaving a relationship behind you could be realizing what it is that's been holding you back from intimacy and forming a new relationship or a new beginning with someone from the past um, it could go either way because the Six of Cups can be healing from the past, connecting with someone from the past, but also learning from the past and making the future more positive. So, um, but you might have to do that with counseling. So if you have a relationship with someone and, and you both still care about each other and you, you both agree to go to counseling, it could be a good thing. It could help you have a whole new beginning in, in relating and you can get over some of these um, programming you know this is a card of it's like unconscious programming that gets in the way of what we want and so you have to go deep and you have to go to your past you have to work out some things from your past and work out that unconscious programming so that you're more aware of your actions and you're more able to um, do things that bring that allow you to achieve your goals uh, a lot of times we self-sabotage and we don't even know why because we have this unconscious programming so it's a good month May for you to delve into that and discover you know what is it that's that's still run why am I running these old tapes and how can I get rid of that how can I reprogram so that I can be more successful not only in my job but also in my love life with relationships so you have a lot of potential in May to achieve real success. You have the Six of Wands. And to redo uh, and let go of your past difficulties. You have that potential, but, but it's going to involve work. Because you have this Eight of Pentacles. This is a work card. This is a card of doing the work. You have to do the work. So it may be, you know, you may feel like, oh, I'm doing all this work and I'm not seeing results. But you will see results. So you have the potential to be successful in May, both in career and in love. You just have to be willing to do the work and um, release yourself from the past and past programming. And I know you can do it um, because you have Scorpios have a very are, is a very powerful sign. You can do anything you set your mind to. So just focus on the future and release whatever is no longer serving you. Let it let whatever end whatever cycle is ending. Let it end, and um, look forward to the future. This new environment, this new condition, these new conditions that are just starting to form, um, are going to be really good for you, and you're going to be very successful. So I'm not worried about that. And if you want to salvage a relationship, and um, counseling may help, especially after the new moon in Gemini. So. That's my forecast for May, Scorpio. I hope this was a help to you. And I wish you much love and success and um, joy for the month of May. I'll talk to you again next month. Okay, bye now.